Well, Polk County officials released nearly 300 pages of documents tonight. A woman died in the November fire, and there have been discrepancies between the time-stamped incident log and what officials say happened at the scene, mainly if fire crews ever attempted to rescue the woman inside. I think my house is on fire. And I'm here alone, and I'm on a walker. Loretta Pickard's log house in Lakeland was filling with smoke. The 76-year-old was scared. She was recovering from surgery and had trouble getting around. If it's safe to do so, leave the building, close the doors behind you, and remain outside. I'm not injured, but my eyes are full of smoke. My lungs, I can't get out the door. She stayed on the phone with 911 for about 20 minutes, waiting to be rescued. According to the investigative report from the incident, firefighters knew someone was possibly trapped inside the house. But the captain says he couldn't confirm that. There were no cars in the driveway, and he had no working computer in his fire truck. They know I'm in here, right? Yes, they know you're in there. I, I did let them know. I, I, they know you're in there. But her rescuers never came. Loretta took her final breaths while on the phone with 911. Her family can't understand why Loretta didn't make it out alive. It doesn't make sense. That's their job. That's what they do. You don't have to be a firefighter. You choose to be a firefighter. County leaders say the home's wooded location made it tricky for fire crews. We're told the first firefighters on scene had to wait for another truck with water, and the spreading fire and downed power lines prevented them from getting inside. Obviously, they didn't go inside the house. But what we do know in their attempts to save her life, they each receive some kind of burn to themselves. Loved ones think the 911 operator could have done more to encourage Loretta to get out of the house, saying there was clearly some kind of communication breakdown. We just don't understand and we don't want it to happen to another family. The person calling the shots that night was Captain James Williams. Fox 13 News has learned he took a video of the fire burning, sending it to a group of people on Snapchat. After an internal investigation, Williams was suspended without pay for 24 hours for violating the department's photography policy. Now, it's not clear if the video was taken while Loretta was still on the phone with 911 or if Williams knew that she was in there. Still, Loretta's loved ones think Williams deserves a more severe punishment, and we expect to get a chance to look at that video for the first time tomorrow.